from Thanksgiving. And AAA has said that this year traveling over the holidays could be close to not back to pre pandemic levels. They're expecting the roads and the airports to be much busier than Thanksgiving last year. So grab your phone right now because we want to hear from you. Are you traveling? for Thanksgiving this year. You can vote yes by plane, yes by car, or staying close to home at WGRZ.com slash vote, or you can vote in our mobile app as well. And if you're traveling by plane for Thanksgiving and need to bring something, I mean, you don't want to go to dinner empty handed. <laughs> Daybreak's Lauren Hall is live in the newsroom with new information from TSC, uh, TSA on what you can and cannot put in your carry on luggage. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning, Melissa. Yeah, with the airports getting busier, staffing issues potentially slowing things down this holiday, you don't want to get stopped for longer than you need to be at TSA. But like you mentioned, you also might want to contribute something to the table or bring your leftovers back home with you. And the good news is that most Thanksgiving foods can go through TSA and your carry on. If it's a solid, you can carry it on with you. If it's a liquid larger than 3.4 ounces, you will have to check it. But let's kind of break this down here. So all of these things you can bring with you on your carry on. So your baked goods, your pies, cakes, cookies, your meats like your turkey, chicken, ham, steak, those can go on frozen, cooked or uncooked. Stuffing you can bring with you as well. Those casseroles, the mac and cheese, those can go on either cooked in a pan or as ingredients to cook when you get to your destination. Fresh fruits and vegetables are fine. Can and spices are fine. You can also bring frozen ice packs to keep these things cool as you're traveling. Now, if you're traveling with any of the following foods, these are your liquids. They will have to go into your checked luggage. So your cranberry sauce, any alcohol more than 3.4 ounces, canned fruit and vegetables because they have the liquid in the can, jellies and jams, and maple syrup. Couple helpful tips. If you are bringing food with you, a lot of times they'll have to go through a little bit of an extra screening process. So just put them in a plastic bag before you go. You can also go to the what can I bring section on TSA.gov or you can also send them a tweet at Ask TSA. You can just send them a picture of what you want to bring with you on the plane and they'll usually reply and let you know. Now let's check back with our poll results. Are you traveling this year? Still big majority of you right now saying you're staying home 68%. 23% of you have plans to travel by car and 9% of you have plans to fly somewhere. You can let us know your Thanksgiving plans right now on WGRZ.com slash vote. You can also text us where you're going. 7 Six eight four nine twenty two twenty. If you'd like to share, Melissa and Kevin, back over to you. All right, sounds good, Lauren. Thanks for that news you can use this morning <laughs> on Daybreak.